we're still early in the season. This is another early game. I think it was game two or game three. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> it's been a minute. So my opponent in this game has Steph Curry. Oh, I see. It's been that long that I'm mixing up the words. I have Steph Curry. My opponent has Kyrie Irving. I was thinking about Steph Curry because he's going crazy in real life, man. He's dropping 40 points, 35 points. He's carrying the Warriors team. So that's why I just saw his highlights earlier. That's why it's in my head. So my bad. Kyrie goes in the paint, gets a layup. A lot of these plays, I don't even remember them anymore. I think I changed my playbook since this game. So some of these plays, I don't <laughs> I don't remember the names or how they were designed. So um, I can't really explain much of the plays. Only if I could remember them, then I will. But Kyrie's getting to get a nice screen by Melo right here. Does a sexy acrobatic layup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, Kyrie was killing me this game. He also had Derrick Rose off the bench. So he's going to keep attacking me the whole game with those two players. And he did a lot of five out with both of them. So those are very hard to guard. Five outs with extremely good ball handlers. That's one of the toughest to guards on next gen. Because I said this in previous videos, the defense is not as good as the offense in this game. Like you can't slide your feet properly. And the offense has such a big advantage. Derrick Rose gets into the paint here. So like I said, whenever he tries to drive with those two players, it's almost impossible to stop. So this first quarter is a close game. There's about a minute left, and we're going to try bringing Sabonis in the paint. I pass it back to Drew, pass it back inside, and I get a dunk, finally. Because a lot of times Sabonis just goes for a weak layup in the paint. Well, a lot of bigs go for weak layups in the paint in this game, not just Sabonis, but in general. Derrick Rose did it behind the back right here. That's my opponent's favorite move. As you can see, he's going to keep doing behind the back, behind the back. Nice kick out right here. Back to Derrick Rose. We get the tip with Steph Curry. He has the interceptor badge and he gets fouled. So he's going to keep driving it in the paint. That's going to be the story of this game for him. He's going to keep driving it in the paint. Kick it out for a three. Like I said, it's extremely hard to stop. Especially in a five out layout because the spacing is so wide. You can't bring any help. Steph Curry with a deep three. So Kyrie again is going to keep dribbling, dribbling. And it's tough to guard this. He has Hall of Fame handle for days, so <laughs> he can dribble all day long. So Kyrie, I think, is the only player that has handle for days on Hall of Fame in this game. Unless there's someone else I'm forgetting. Because I know Steph Curry and Damian Lillard, their handle for days is only at gold. Kyrie is the only one I can remember that has Hall of Fame. So Steph Curry, nice pass. We get the shot right here. And it's a three-point game. Again, behind the back, behind the back, spam, gets into the paint, it's tough to stop. <laughs> and Kyrie Irving, if you back off, he's going to shoot that mid-range and three-point shot. Drew Holiday contests nicely, but Michael Porter takes advantage. So Kyrie has some crazy good shooting stats, so even if you back off, he's going to make it. And he has Deadeye as well, so Kyrie is honestly one of the most unstoppable players in this game. Sabonis so in the paint makes a tough layup on Carmelo Anthony. Again, behind the back, gets into the paint. Finally, we get a block, which is very rare because Kyrie Irving doesn't get blocked in this game. Trust me, he always gets the foul call. Steph Curry should have gotten fouled right there. I'm going to fast forward it just a little bit. He's going to give it back to Kyrie on the perimeter. Again, I have Drew Holiday on him. We get the tip. I thought we should have gotten a steal right there. Nice bumping animations, but Kyrie gets a floater in the paint. I'm telling you, 24 seconds guarding Kyrie is tough. <laughs> it's going to drain the stamina of your defenders very fast. So I'm going to bring Sabonis in the post right here against Carmelo. He brings the double team. I'm going to kick it out. Back to Steph from the mid-range area. And we miss an open shot. Steph Curry's shot is so fast from the mid-range compared to his three-point shot. So it's a tough adjustment. Kyrie takes advantage of our miss. And he gets the layup to go. I'm going to give it to Sabonis in the paint. And, ooh, I thought that was going to be an one, but that was a foul. He's going to go behind the back here, I think. Yes, he does. Because <laughs> that was his signature move. Like I said, the behind the back is really tough to stop. And that's what he's been doing most of the game with D-Rose, with Kyrie. So right now, we're down by 11 points. When Curry's on the bench, it's really hard to score for my bench team. Because they're shooting. As you can see, I miss a lot. <laughs> I still got to learn their shot. I got to learn Devontae Graham. I got to learn... Ooh! Ooh, look at that lob! So I miss every time I miss my opponents take advantage because on the break, well, as soon as you miss a long shot, most of the time your opponents are already leaking out. 
So Derek Rose, rest to the paint, like I said, it's very hard to guard D-Rose and Kyrie when they're attacking all game. Look at this, again, D-Rose into the paint. We actually get a block here, but that was very rare. So we're gonna go coast to coast with Curry. I pull up for three, he's back in the game to start the third. And this is the third quarter where Curry absolutely goes crazy and brings our team back into the game. So I shot a three in the corner, I get into the paint right here, reverse layup. I'm gonna get into the paint again. We're gonna get another layout to go. So he already has takeover with six minutes in the third to go. So again, five out for Kyrie. He misses this shot right here. And you already know, we're gonna be looking for our boy Steph Curry. He has takeover, so you already know, we're gonna try to look for that three point shot. Step back three, green beam, there you go. So Kyrie back to back, five outs. I'm telling you, you can't bump Kyrie Irving on his dribble like this. Especially on a five out situation, it's almost a guaranteed bucket the whole the time. Again, five out with Kyrie. He does a spin move. He gets the layup to go. Five out again with Kyrie Irving. A deep triple. Like I'm saying, you can't guard this. Every possession, it's been five out with Kyrie. So screen and roll. We're going to get a nice roll, but Steph Curry decides to pull up and make the mid-range. So it's back to a 10-point lead because Kyrie was going crazy as well. Again, behind the back with Kyrie, he dishes it out. And he's in the post, he's gonna do a spin move. Again, as you can see, his formation is five out the whole game. Five out again right here with Kyrie Irving. He's gonna get into the paint. He gets by Drew Holiday as if it's not even there. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's very hard to guard five out, but with his screen this time, kicks it back outside. And he makes his three point shot. So now we're down by 16 points. I'm gonna give it to Sabonis in the paint. Hopefully we can get some paint baskets. Easy layup and we miss. Michael Porter Jr. got pushed with that spin, but he still got contested somehow. I don't know how that happened. That's why I don't really like scoring in the paint in this game. Or should I say in the post. So we're making a couple of shots. We're bringing this lead back down to 11. He does a reverse layup with Derrick Rose. Pushes the lead back to 13 to head into the fourth. And in this fourth quarter, we're gonna try to take the game over again with Steph Curry because our bench really didn't help out in terms of decreasing the lead. Five out again right here for Derrick Rose. We try to bring a double team. We actually get a steal this time. We're gonna try to capitalize because we need to get as much stops as we can get. Drew Holiday with the fake. We end up getting the layup. Again, five, I'm telling you, five out all game with Kyrie and Derrick Rose. It's almost impossible to stop. <laughs> He's gonna pass it to Porter on the wing. He's gonna do a spin move baseline and make a crazy Dwayne Wade lip. Did you see the animation he got? That shouldn't have went in because that's a high degree of difficulty. He was leaning sideways. <laughs> so Kyrie's gonna dribble into the paint five out formation. Look at this, everyone's at the three point line. You can't bring help at all. Kyrie actually misses that so we got lucky. But that's a rarity, trust me. It's a rarity when Kyrie misses a layup. So Steph Curry goes all the way, takes advantage of the miss. So it's back to a six point lead. On this specific play, I knew he wanted to go baseline, so I'm gonna stop the spin move baseline. He tries to spin the other way. Like I said, it's gonna spam the spin move and they behind the backs with a five out formation. This is really annoying to guard all game, trust me. So now he does another spin move and he finally gets a layup in the paint. He was just spamming the spin move till he gets a basket. On this play, he's gonna call for his screen. And Hassan Whiteside should have stolen that pass. As you can see, the ball went right through his arm. But he wasn't even paying attention. That should have been an easy steal. But this game sometimes, it's like your defense doesn't know what's going on. Like they're lost. Even if the ball flies right in front of their face, they don't even attempt to steal it. But in real life, you know that would have been a steal. So Steph Curry gets at one. So the lead is back to five. So Capella drives in the paint, rebing the help. He shoots a three. But Capella gets back into position. He tips it over two defenders. And he gets the put back to go. On this next play, I get by the defense. I was trying to lay it up, but Steph Curry got stuck somehow in the animation and it happened so slow that the defense had time to recover. So Steph Curry misses a wide open shot right here. I still gotta get used to it because Steph Curry has a lot of different release speeds depending on where I shoot on the court. He ends up making this one, so it's back to a six point lead. We're gonna bring a trap right here. But unfortunately, it didn't work out. He finds the open man, like I said, in the five out formation when you try to bring a trap. It's easy to spot the open man. So we're gonna try to make a late comeback. Steph Curry has a shot here, a decent look, especially since he has takeover. That's a miss. I'm gonna find Drew Holiday in the corner. We're gonna miss another triple. 
Unfortunately, the comeback came short. As you can see in the end, our shots were missing. Steph Curry dropped 46 in a loss. Feels like the real life Golden State Warriors wherein he dropped a career high and still lost the game. I'm telling you, he had 5 out all game. He scored 66 out of 79 points in the paint. It was 5 out behind the back, spin moves. It was tough and annoying to guard. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next game. Drop a comment and a like. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.